Hey guys, my name is Ryan, the Frugal Analyst, and in this video, I'm going to give my detailed review for the Tesla solar panel and walk you through the installation process step by step from day one, where you talk with your consultant, to the end of the process where your utility company allows you to turn on the system. For me, the entire process took 98 days. So that's over three months uh, just to install solar panels in this home. At the end of the video, I'll also give my review in four categories. Category number one, the design. Two, the installation. Three, the performance. And four, the communication. So the first step is meeting with the solar consultant. Now this happened for me on August 23rd, 2017. And before I, I meet with my consultant, I had to send her my utility bill so she could see how much energy I was using. So in the past year, I averaged around 350 kilowatt hour or around $80 per month in electricity bill. Now, this is not a high amount, but I am planning to buy an electric car next year and uh, that will spike my usage and if my usage spike I could get hit by the tiering system in my utility bill so I, I would have to pay uh, close to double the amount after a certain level of usage. After sending the utility bill we had to set up an appointment this is where the consultant goes into uh, my home to talk to me about the benefits of solar and for her to explain to me all the purchase options. Now there is uh, three different purchase options. The first one is the PPA or the power purchase agreement. Uh, this is when you lease your roof to Tesla for free. In return, they will install solar panels and you pay Tesla as an energy producer at a agreed price per kilowatt hour. Uh, the second option is the lease. Uh, this is where you pay a discounted amount. Uh, you pay a fixed fee per month and just like leasing a car, you're basically uh, leasing a solar system for 20 years. So it's a really long lease. Uh, the third option is purchasing the system outright. And this is the one that uh, I did, which I, I paid over $15,000 for. And this is just basically paying upfront the whole amount so that they install the entire system in your home. And purchasing it outright gives you the highest return compared to the other choices. When the consultant and I uh, talk, uh, I already know that I wanted to purchase the entire system just to keep it simple. Because the other options, the PPA and the lease, you might have some issues when you sell the home when you have this lease going on or you have this PPA agreement that the new homeowner have to agree to. So I, I didn't want to bother with any of that. And plus the best return you can get is if you were to purchase the entire system outright. So that's what uh, we agreed on. So the consultant and I, uh, we talk and we came out to uh, to a system uh, that with the size around 3.6 kilowatt hour uh, that will at least produce around 400 kilowatt hour per month. Now my usage is around 350 in the last year. I do want 400 so that uh, when I do buy an electric car, I could have more energy to spend on my car. The whole process with a consultant took around one hour to one and a half hour till the very end. The next step is to schedule an appointment with Tesla so that they can check out your roof. So that whole process took around, probably around three hours where Somebody came in to my home and they climb all the way to the roof, check the, the roof tiles, uh, check to see if anything's broken, do a lot of measurements just to make sure that they could fit all the panels that we wanted. So the entire process uh, took around three hours. Now after they check the roof, it's time to create the design. Uh, when I got my first design, it was already October 4th, 2017. So it's been 42 days since I first talked to the consultant, sent in my uh, electricity bill. And, you know, I wanted my appointments to be on Saturday. So sometime I had to wait uh, one week or two weeks so that it could be on a Saturday so I could be home and I could uh, really talk to them and just make sure I could ask a lot of questions. So if you're doing the install, it might be faster if you really wanted to, but for for me, I wanted it on Saturday so that I could talk with the person, whether it's the consultant, the guy who's checking uh, my roof, and uh, make sure that I'm there for every single step. 
So the first design that I got was pretty disappointing. So originally I asked for a 3.6 kilowatt hour system. We agreed on it when the consultant and I talked, but on my first design, I got a 2.7 kilowatt hour system the cells are 275 watts i'll have the link at the bottom of the video if you're interested to see my first design and and all my designs actually i'll i'll put the link down so you guys can download it and digest the information but basically it was pretty disappointing originally we talked about 3.6 kilowatt hour system and the first design is 2.7 so it's a lot smaller it's not using the best panel i believe right now as of this video the best panel is 325 watts and I'll, I'll put the I'll put a picture uh, over here for the 325 watts panel so I requested for them to redesign my system now also the weird thing is they don't give you the full design on the email I had to ask my consultant to send me the full solar design which is a 15 page document instead of the one pager that they sent me through email so it, it takes around two weeks uh, for them to create a new design and the next design that I got was a three kilowatt hour system again it drove me nuts because originally I asked for 3.6 now two weeks have passed and they give me a 3 kilowatt hour system and the reason is that the designer thought that hey they look at my historical usage and they see that hey I'm not using that much power so I don't need that many panels and I was pretty disappointed because I thought it was clear between the consultant and I that I am going to buy an electric car in the future and I really wanted a lot more power for my house plus I'm actually purchasing the system outright so it's really my money I want more panels I want to spend more money on my investment it's really up to me so I was really surprised that they came back to me and says oh yeah but you guys don't need that much power well yes we do so another two weeks have passed and i finally got the design that that i wanted which is a 3.6 kilowatt hour system using the best panels now for my roof i have limited space so i can't put in all the panels in the most efficient spot that's why i wanted the 325 watt panel because it is the most efficient panels you can get today now i'm not the only one who had this experience so my coworker who referred me to tesla also had the same issue i think he, he was asking initially for a bigger system when the first design came it was a smaller system and he had to redesign his system again to get it back to the original size and finally he got it but the back and forth is really wasting a lot of time when i get my final design it is already october 24th 2017 so it's been around 20 days uh, since my first design and it's already been 62 days since my first conversation with my solar consultant now the next step is for me to make half the my invoice payment so they gave me an invoice it was around fifteen thousand dollars i have to pay half of it and tesla is i think one of the only solar installer that allows you to use credit card uh, so i actually use multiple credit cards to pay just so i could get a lot of bonus points and if you want to use multiple credit cards you actually have to call in so you call in uh, their invoice uh, department and you tell them hey i want to pay with multiple credit cards and i paid with uh, four different credit cards uh, for my system and they'll ask you how much you want to pay on each card and you tell them your card number expiration etc and they'll charge your credit card now if you are only paying with one credit card it's a lot easier i think they partner with paypal and you just they send you an email on the invoice and you just click 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 and then it's like buying on amazon or whatnot except it's uh, using paypal now before your install there is paperwork that you have to do for your utility company it's uh, just like a agreement with a utility company saying that you are installing a solar panel etc uh, so, so there's some paperwork that you have to sign uh, to Tesla, to the utility company, and etc. Uh, next, after all that is done, um, or in between the steps, uh, you actually schedule your install. Now, I schedule mine on a Saturday so I could watch Tesla install uh, the system. So I think on the install day, they brought around six people and they did everything from installing uh, the panels and installing the inverter and uh, making sure that the inverter connects to the 
their grid. So in that process, I had to tell them exactly where I want the inverter to be installed and how the wiring goes. Now they do have recommendation, but I want to make sure that it looks clean. Uh, what I like about the install is that they actually don't mind moving a lot of my stuff. Uh, like here in this picture, there's all this stuff in my backyard and they had to remove uh, all of them for them to install the piping uh, in red um, that I just scribbled here. Uh, they also had to cut a part of my door, which is a really good thing. Uh, I think um, the alternative was to create piping above. And I think if you create piping ab above in the wall, I think that would look uh, pretty ugly. So they managed to get the piping underneath and they actually had to cut the door and they don't mind doing it. Another thing that they did was they painted the conduit and you can see the picture here. They tried to match the color of the wall and the color of the roof. So I, I thought that, that was pretty nice of them to bring some paint. Uh, also, they did bring uh, spare tiles just in case if they break them. In the contract, they do have like million dollar policy or something like that where if they break something, they could replace them. And uh, I believe in their truck, they do have an extra replacement of tiles just in case if uh, they're installing the panels and somebody stepped on some tiles and it broke for whatever reason. So after your panels are installed, they do test the system. Here I have a solar edge system, so I could click this, this button in the bottom of the inverter and it will show me how many panels are running and how many watts I'm generating at this time. Now I have to wait until my utility company okays the install. So uh, it took um, a, a few more weeks until the utility company finally says that I am good to go to turn on my system. I finally turned on my system on November 29, 2017. From my final Tesla design model to the OK to turn on phase, it took around 36 days. And uh, the total time from when I can turn on the system to when I first start to communicate with my solar consultant is 98 days. So it's a long time. It's a little bit over three months. I do want to do it right. so. Uh, I did uh, take my time by scheduling appointments on Saturday just to make sure that I could see what they're doing and ask them uh, all my questions. Now that you heard about my installation process, I'm going to review my overall experience in four categories, starting with the design, the installation, performance, and communication. Now starting with the design, I would give Tesla a three out of five. It took two different revisions for me to get to my final model. Uh, it started with a 2.7 kilowatt hour model and then it went to a 2.9 and and then finally I got my 3.6 kilowatt hour system. I feel like I wasted several weeks just to get to the right system and what's disappointing is the 3.6 kilowatt hour system is the size that my consultant and I initially decide when they came to, to my home. So I feel like I wasted a bunch of time. The second reason why in the design, there is this picture where you could see that there are these panel skirts all around the panel. It turns out when my installation was done, uh, there was only uh, one skirt in the bottom of the panel. So there weren't any skirt in the side of the panel. Now for the installation, I would rate Tesla a five out of five. They did match the paint of the conduit uh, to the color of the wall and also the color of the roof. Uh, they were able to cut uh, through my door and run a conduit underneath so that the installation looks really clean. And I felt overall they, they did a really good job with the installation. Everything looks clean and it, it looks good overall. So I'm going to give them a five out of five. Next, looking at performance, I'm going to give Tesla a five out of five. Now, uh, at the time of this video, I have three months of actual data. And what I did with that is I actually, actually asked my coworker who lives in San Diego, since I'm in San Diego, I hope that his performance would be similar to, to mine. So looking at his data, I charted out 
using his seasonality in the last three years for his panels, how much would I need to generate for me to hit my expected generation this month? And it turns out I'm overperforming that estimate by around 8%. Now I'll take anything that's positive here. I know this is only three months of actual data, but so far it's around 8% better than expected. So I'm gonna give them a five out of five. Also the mobile access for you to see the uh, your electricity generation is pretty straightforward. Uh, this uh, solar guide that you can uh, use your mobile phone or you can go online, you could always see uh, how much you're generating at any time and historically. Now for communication, I would rate Tesla a two out of five. That's because initially when I was deciding to install t solar or not, I was asking my consultant a lot of detailed questions. And some of those questions was, was answered incorrectly. For example, I asked about net metering. When is the true up period? Initially, what I got was 24 months. It turns out it's only 12 months when I asked my energy provider. So I feel like they might not have all the correct information. The second reason is the lack of update. I feel like I, I have to always follow up. They might make a promise uh, telling me that my design will be ready in one week and one week goes by and I still have no update. So it seems like I have to be the one who follows up. The same thing happened with referrals. So I refer some of my friends uh, to, to Tesla so that they could get the additional five year warranty and it, after I refer them and they click the link, and I'll have the link below if you guys are interested in getting Tesla Solar as well, they would fill out the form and they never get a contact from Tesla for weeks. So I have to follow up telling them, hey, can you please contact this person? This person is really interested. So I feel like I, I'm the one who has uh, to follow up. The third reason is unanswered question. So I still wanted the skirts on the side of my panels and I, I asked my consultant and his or her manager for the skirts so it would look better and they still haven't gotten back to me. I already followed up twice, but I'm kind of giving up right now. So overall communication is pretty bad. I would say Tesla can improve significantly if they have a better system. It seems like internally there's a lot of chaos in the company. So overall, I would give Tesla a four out of five. I think their installation and performance of the panels was amazing. Unfortunately, the design and the co communication have room to improve. For the design, I think they should stick with the system size that the consultant and I discussed initially. For the communication, I wish that consultant is more of a project manager. Now maybe I'm asking too much, but I shouldn't be the one following up. So overall, I'm gonna give Tesla a four out of five. So thank you guys for watching. If you are considering a Tesla solar panel, please use my referral link below. And if you're considering solar in general, please make sure to watch my other video on calculating solar panel investment return. If you like this video and want to hear more about solar and how to save money and make better investment decisions, please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys next time.